Hello and welcome back to DCS How to Fly, the series where I teach you the basics of certain aircraft in DCS 2.5. In today's episode we're going to take a look at the basics of the MiG-29, the final aircraft in our How to Fly series. In today's episode we're going to be flying the MiG-29A, which is the first variant of the aircraft. Flame and Cliffs 3 also comes with the MiG-29G and MiG-29S, one of which we will look at in the next video. All of the key bindings required for the MiG have been covered in previous videos, so if you're unsure of anything, be sure to go back and check those. It's well worth before we start. It's also worth noting that before we start, these last two episodes of the series are going to be shorter than their counterparts. The MiG is an incredibly simple aircraft and it shares a lot of its features with other aircraft we've already covered, so I will just reference those videos as well just to speed up the process. Start up, taxi and take off are as you would have come to expect by now. Turn on the electrics, the navigation lights, the cockpit lights if you feel the need. Close the canopy, start the engines, begin your taxi run. Be wary of the MiG's handling physics, as they are a little unrealistic, we should say. Ask for takeoff clearance and taxi onto the runway. When you're ready to go, hold the wheel brakes in and push the throttle full forward. At 200km an hour, pull back on the stick about halfway until the nose is off the ground. And at 250 to 275, the nose should steady out. Maintain your attitude and begin a gentle climb, raising the gear as soon as you're off the ground. Now that we're in the air, there really isn't much to talk about. The MiG-29 doesn't have any fancy features or perks that make it stand out too much like the other aircraft we've covered. It's relatively clunky and not particularly manoeuvrable, but it is quite forgiving. The only sellout feature of the MiG is the speed. The MiG has two very powerful engines and combined with its light weight, it makes for a blisteringly quick plane. In level flight, at sea level, most aircraft can just about break the sound barrier. But the sound barrier is no match for the MiG, which can easily reach speeds of 1500 kilometers an hour in level flight. All this speed does come at a cost, however, and a rather royally cost if you like. The MiG is equipped with several pylons for external fuel tanks, for a very good reason. So if you're planning on doing longer sorties, you need to be extremely careful with your throttle control and you need to watch your fuel very carefully. And that's really all there is to talk about in the flight, so we move on to the landing. Landing the MiG is arguably harder than most other Flaming Cliffs 3 aircraft. The MiG is very reluctant to lose speed and as a result you will need to use the air brake for almost the entire landing process. Try and use as shallow of an approach as possible and aim for the runway threshold as this gives you the best chance to scrub off as much speed as you can. The landing gear and the flaps will only extend below a certain airspeed, but once you've pressed the buttons, even if you are above the threshold airspeed, they will automatically extend once you drop below it. Once you run down on the ground, all you need to do is taxi down to the apron and shut the aircraft down. And with that, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and check out my other videos. But until then, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Tara.